Before this video starts, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you don't miss any future tech tutorials. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you if a USB splitter will make your read or write speed slower for an external hard drive or a USB drive. So I'll be using the third party software, Crystal Diskmark, to check the read and write speeds for each option. The link for the download will be in the description below. So let's get started. First of all, I ran the test with the uh, USB connected directly to the motherboard. I would have screen recorded this, but I didn't want to affect the performance in any way whatsoever. As you can see, I got sequential read speeds of 25.73 and 25.79 megabits per second. And I got uh, random read speeds of 5.55 and 5.11 megabits per second. I got sequential write speeds of 8.8 .8 and 9 megabits per second. And I got random write speeds of 1.51 and 1.36 megabits per second. Now I'll do the test with the USB drive connected to the USB splitter. As you can see, I got sequential read speeds of 25.37 and 25.34 megabits per second. And random read speeds of 4.93 and 4.56 megabits per second. I got sequential write speeds of 8.58 and 8.81 me megabits per second. And I got a random write speeds of 1.44 and 1.27 megabits per second. As you can see, the USB splitter reduces the read and write speeds by such a small amount that you probably won't notice it during everyday use. Unfortunately, the more USB devices you have connected to your hub, the slower each device will be because even if your hub has multiple USB ports, all that data still has to go through the original USB port on your laptop or desktop. And this data above shows this perfectly. And that's it. Now you know that a USB hub doesn't necessarily affect the reader write speeds by itself. But when there are other USBs connected, the reader write speeds can actually be pretty heavily affected. 